living organisms are capable of giving birth to young ones which are either exactly same or somewhat similar to them. Can you tell me what is this process of giving birth to an offspring known as? The process is called reproduction. In simple terms, it's defined as the process in which living organisms give birth to an offspring which is the same or similar to them. Now when I say living organisms, it should include plants as well, right? Yes, of course. We have seen a new plant emerging from a seed when sown in the ground. Where does this seed come from? It comes from some plant, right? Absolutely. But wait, have we seen all the plants always giving us flowers, fruits and seeds? No, there are many plants that do not bear flowers and fruits. So don't these plants reproduce? Or do they reproduce by some other means? Let's answer all these questions in this video. Reproduction in plants can occur in two major ways. One type is asexual reproduction and the second is sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction, as the name suggests, involves sex cells or gametes. So a new individual is born when gametes from both male and female parents fuse. Now can you guess what asexual reproduction will be? In contrast to the previous type, asexual reproduction does not involve gametes. It is a type in which some part of the parent body will be capable of growing into a new organism. Interesting, isn't it? But which part of the parent body will grow into a new organism? Based on various factors, asexual reproduction is further categorized into subtypes. A few of these include the vegetative propagation, fragmentation, budding and spore formation. Let's get introduced to each type in detail in the upcoming videos.